Following last week's murder of Timothy Reynolds involving a squeegee worker, city officials are all sharing their opinions on what should be done about them. Baltimore City's state's attorney Marilyn Mosby reacted today to the proposed plans of her opponents in the upcoming Democratic primary. The core, both of my opponents' plans are to return to a time of mass incarceration and over-policing of black and brown communities. They can dress it up with fancy PowerPoints, but ultimately it is a return to failed philosophies and policies that have proven unsuccessful and left communities such as mine, particularly communities of color, hollow and fractured. She also said she would have debated the issue, but her opponents turned down a debate scheduled by the League of Women Voters and the NAACP that was scheduled for last night. So here's what those plans involve. Candidate Theru Vignaraja says his plan would last 90 days. The first 30 days would have his office work with squeegee workers, connecting them with job resources. The second 30 days, he would have officers confiscate squeegees and spray bottles as a warning. The final 30 days would have officers enforce laws on the books which prohibit soliciting to drivers on public roads. Vignaraja says he'll give offenders an option if arrested get job assistance or face a $100 fine or up to 30 days in jail. We have asked Ivan Bates for his plan on squeegee workers. We will put that up on WMAR2news.com right after he responds.